Mario once again and this is the one half scale RC ultralight Quicksilver style. I've been putting a little more time into this uh, the frame here and uh, I couldn't wait to complete the uh, tail section. This is still missing uh, two, two sets of rods per, per side uh, diagonals bracing this way and that way uh, and so I decided to just attach the rudder with the tail guard that's uh, that's already set and temporarily just place the horizontal stabilizer in place here. It, this once this gets installed, it gets tensioned a little bit better, and so it's it looks like it's sagging, but it's typically not once it did gets installed on the triangular boom section. So I've been uh, working on this uh, today. I spend uh, you know a good amount of time. Uh, um, setting it up and uh, just making all the connections here. I did uh, an earlier video that, that I showed the, the frame uh, without the stabilizer and the uh, um, the rudder. But basically, this is how big this thing is. It's uh, it's taking quite a bit of room. This foot here is um, this room. This room here is um, it's about 16 um, 16 feet, 18 feet uh, wide. So you can see how big this thing is, uh, and I don't even have the, the tires. <laughs> the tires are going to add uh, quite a bit of uh, uh, a, a little more um, a little more mass, you know, at the, at, on the bottom section there. So that's uh, I'm, I'm taking my time with the wheels, with the tires, because I have to uh, I have to create a new tool for that particular size. You know, same type of cutter that I use on the front end. Uh, tired, but the rear one it's got to be a little bit wider, and so I have to make that tool almost customize that tool so that I can cut the tires for that for for those uh, um, for those hubs. But you know, just an idea how big this thing is. Uh, it is you know, I'm going to um, I'm going to try to make this so that the uh, stabilizer uh, and the stabilizer and the rudder which is also part of the vertical stabilizer is uh, is uh, disconnectable meaning uh, that you can remove those for uh, for transportation because this this is quite quite a big model I mean you almost have to have a uh, some kind of a trailer uh, maybe a four by four by four by ten trailer if you just want to fit the frame and then the, all these components the wing is going to be in, in sections the wing and the horizontal uh, vertical stabilizer rudder elevator I don't even have the elevator there but you know just this just to get an idea how big this thing is um, the seat is uh, almost finalized I'm almost done with the printing of that seat and once that's done I'm going to pop it right there and then I'm going to put this this guy here the, the pilot which as you can see it's done in the same color scheme as the, the, the aircraft uh, it's going to be a very very nice uh, very nice uh, jumbo jumbo size uh, um, ultralight uh, it's going to look great in the air you know once it's uh, completed and so um, I'm kind of e eager to uh, finish the wing uh, at the same time that I've been working on this I've been working on uh, the parts for the the customer that uh, that inspired me to build this size I mean he's got the the smaller MIA Quicksilver style RC ultralights he's got uh, both uh, the 60 inch and the um, the eight foot wing um, which is a uh, quarter scale and uh, when I'm done with uh, these parts you know uh, for this and for his you know I'm working at the same time in tandem uh, he'll have uh, also all the parts you know to uh, all, all the, the control surfaces in the main wing he is going to build his own frame so I'm not concerned about uh, you know having to ship this but I built this just to have all the reference uh, uh, dimensions you know to uh, ready for him to uh, build his you know with uh, pretty much the same way I'm building mine um, all the sizes of the tubes will be already done you know for him so he can just go out and buy the, the you know the tubing at the local hardware store not, not, a, not a big issue and then he can uh, either print his own uh, wheels. I mean, I, th I think he's got cap capabilities to print his own uh, his own uh, parts. Um, uh, you know, and then he'll pretty much have uh, you know the same uh, same size aircraft. Um, so this is uh, just um, another update. I'm, I'm trying to do these uh, as, as I go along, so you, so people can see the uh, the progress. You know, the um, the evolution of this is is it's it's I'm building it. Once again, Mario, stay tuned for the next video, which will have the uh, 
seat and uh, the pilot will be installed and hopefully these rods that are the the, uh, the, um, the additional diagonal bracing that is required for the for the tail section